It's a few months after the events of Endgame, yeah. and I think everyone is still kind of in that denial phase of, yeah. the, of yeah. the, the implication and the ramifications of what's happened. Um, because if you really did disappear and come back for five years, that's not something you'd get over in five months. Yeah. Yeah. And that's also not something you come to term with in five months. So yeah. I think at this stage, our heroes and our cast are still very much kind of a little bit taken aback by what's mm -hmm. going on, and Peter Parker especially. Being able to tra travel the world, I yeah. think, is really cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. You know, <laughs> other than the fact that we, we've never really seen Spider-Man <coughs> be able to do his thing, I think, in anywhere else really than mm -hmm. New York. Yeah. So it's really cool to kind of see that somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but also just like selfishly, us just being able to like have a good time in all yeah, these yeah. amazing, beautiful places and like shooting at these gorgeous landmarks and like yeah. it's yeah, it's pretty it's pretty wild. John Watts is a is a director of representation. You know, if you look at our cast, it's an incredibly diverse cast, and he's representing a whole uh, load of, uh, of people. And by going to these different places, we're representing different countries. We're representing Italy and Czech Republic and, and England, which for me, being able to represent my own city is, is a real honor. Oh my yeah. goodness, way, yes. Way Definitely. It's like it leveled up in a... In like sure. I think senses. there's like twice as many action sequences. Uh -huh. It's in, it's in and there's never a dull moment, is there? No, there's, no, always there's never a moment on. like watching when you're like, oh, this could be a bit shorter. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing. I think what's what's special about I think this time around is the first time around we didn't really get to see much of her, um, but she kind of has a defense mechanism. I think that that kind of hard shell that she has and her defense mechanism is really just to be sarcastic and sometimes it comes off mean, but she's just. She's just very like blatantly honest, which I think is actually a really wonderful quality because nobody's ever truly honest nowadays. Um, so you know, I, I don't know. I think it's 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 kind of refreshing to have people like that. But I also think that sometimes, um, you know, you don't really know people why people put those walls up. And I think it's nice as this you know movie continues that through their like her romance and awkward romance with Peter, um, I think she kind of has to strip away her wall a little bit and be a little bit more open and you kind of see her, um, I don't know, she gets gooey and you kind of get to see that she is really just like this kind of fragile, um, still very young, young, young woman. And so it's, I don't know, it's just nice to see different sides of her um, mm. while also kind of still staying true to the character that we've created. I think he's really like <laughs> jealous, but yeah. like in a really funny way because uh, he like he really I think what made him feel special was that he was the only one that knew. <laughs> yeah, and like it, he, he kind of thinks like, it was something that's been taken away from him, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't hate MJ. I mean, like they all love each other, so I don't think there's any way that he'd like. Yeah, it seems like when you guys were on the bus and you yeah. do the FOS thing, yeah. that, like. You guys, had a have, moment. you guys yeah. have become a team. Yeah, yeah it you wasn't know? like... He accepted it. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like, no, like, I don't want you a part of this, so... If you had to yeah. bring in one more cast member to the FOS group, <laughs> who would it be? I don't know, man. I feel like the obvious mm -hmm. answer would be, like, Tony. I think Zach would be a but good Zach would be, like... Sure. Zach would probably kill the game, you know? Yeah, Zach, Zach would be would really Zach. good to, do, <sighs> to bring in. Yeah, so, not Tony, yeah. but Zach. He wants to try and escape the responsibility of being Spider-Man, but unfortunately, the responsibility of being the friendly neighborhood superhero is not one you can run away from. So in this film, you'll see him learn and grow and realize that he has to step up, and this responsibility is bigger than just his, his vacation. <laughs> so he grows up a lot in this film and uh, takes on the mantle of, of an Avenger for the first time, really. <laughs>